I think they can do it. Yeah. Every day they're making their next move, a plan of what to do in some faraway country. Hmm. The nonprofit organization is made up of young people who spend their free time trying to change the world. Yeah. But on their last trip, the interns of Go International had no idea where they were going. Exactly. So like, just trust us. It'll be fun. Like, okay. They give you minimal information. But you couldn't ask questions because it's all a mystery. Games, relays. The two directors knew. Husband and wife Greg and Krista Baca kept the destination a secret from the interns for months. Anybody's ever planned a surprise birthday party, you know how, like, hard it is to keep something under wraps. They threw us some curveballs. I thought we were going to India for sure. First clue. They got their first clue of their destination on Fox 23 Daybreak. Great. Then just two hours before they got on a plane, they finally found out they were headed to London. Everyone was screaming. My face is just like, yes. It was actually really ridiculous. We went to um, London and then Paris and Rome. It wasn't so important to these interns where they were going as it was why they were going. They say the why is a mission to connect with people. To be able to bring God's love into their country and just tell them that God loves them and that we love them even though we don't know them. It's pretty fun. These interns minister in some unusual ways. They took to the streets of London wearing blindfolds and told people they were doing a vision challenge. We believe that we should have vision for our life. My dream is to see my kids become Christians. They also asked people to be a part of their art project to fill in the blank and write down their dreams. This is my dream and this is for what I live for. It was like a collage of people with all of their dreams of like what they want to do. In every city they traveled, the interns worked with churches. One church had a rehab program and the interns ministered to heroin addicts and prostitutes. A lot of times we talked to them about like what they love to do and kind of like some dreams and passions they have. The group says it's about changing the way people think. We've been lulled into merely existing. You know, it's so easy to just wake up and live the day that's set before you. I believe that God puts desires in your hearts to do things that you want to do and they're not there for no reason. And if we'll dare to to believe it and and step out there and and do it that our dreams can come true. I think a lot of people have like a negative perception of uh, you know ministry to see I guess a young group of people doing something different uh, it just caught their attention and they were really intrigued by it. These young people know they're living their dream. I see just the dreams that are in my heart being fulfilled on a daily basis. They just want others to do the same. You can have fun and be on a missions trip and live life and not be lame, <laughs> basically. On the road in Bigsby, Jana Clark, Fox 23 News.